Hey guys, it's Jason, the Wedding Magician. I've been getting a lot of inquiries about people that are really interested in hiring um, our services for their wedding day, but they really want to know exactly what kind of tricks they can expect. So here's a little video to help you on your way. The first trick, without a doubt, is sponge balls. <laughs> now, sponge balls may look a little bit lame at first it is essentially a little sponge red ball but it's absolutely amazing it gets incredible reactions and the magic happens in your guest hands they're going to love it they're going to actually they're going to come up to you and they're going to talk to you about this particular trick because it gets such a good result uh, the other thing you're going to see jason do is classy card tricks he's going to go around showing uh, some of his card skills, but more than the card skills, he's gonna allow, once again, the magic to happen in people's hands, where you'll see a sign card into the center of the pack and jump to the top, and then the card jumps to his mouth. The card can also appear in an impossible location, like, you know, your uncle's wallet or your auntie's handbag. Other things you're gonna see Jason do is borrow a phone Take a balloon and you'll visually see the phone melt inside the balloon. Uh, you're just going to have to see this to believe this. He will take some cutlery, some silverware, whether it be a spoon or fork, and you're going to, just like Yuri Geller did, he's going to visually make that, uh, that fork or spoon bend, supposedly, with his mind. You're going to see it twist. You're going to see the times of the forks all spread out. And in fact, Jason often gives away the cutlery to the person that did the magic, just to adds a nice little elegant touch where they get to keep um, part of the magic that they experienced. So other tricks include, you know, making cards vanish, um, making cards reappear. Um, he does this great elegant illusion that he often will either do in close up or in a stage show where he makes a table float in the air. So. As you can see, more than the tricks, Jason will unify your families together, getting them mingling, having a good time, and just set the mood for the rest of the evening. So I hope this answered your question. You're gonna see sponge balls, cards, coins, rubber bands, watches, wallets, lots of fire, because fire makes great magic. You know, he basically uses magic as his tool to create an atmosphere of fun, an atmosphere of laughter, and ultimately, bring it back to making you guys, the bride and the groom, the star of the day, where people will actually come up to you and tell you how good the magician was and what a great idea it was to have this magical element included in your wedding day. And you know what? A magician isn't the typical option that people think about when they hire entertainment or thinking of uh, weddings. But I'll tell you what, it will definitely set you apart and uh, people will really love and appreciate the uniqueness of it. Yeah, that's all I have to say. So there you go, guys. I'm the Wedding Magician. Thank you for tuning in to this blog. Feel free to share this, like it, if, uh, if you found it helpful. But yeah, thanks so much, guys. Any questions, just uh, Facebook us or email us at www.weddingmagician.com.au. Thanks, guys.